A great treat today on the cooking segment of Together Again. Bob Dempster's with us. Yay, Bob! And he's going to be cooking onion soup, which I enjoy very much, and kale, which is a German casserole, which I know nothing about. <laughs> but it sounds interesting, Bob. It should be interesting. Oh, good. We're going to cook French onion soup. There's a difference between oh, onion soup and French onion soup. What's and it's going to be French and German today. Oui, oui. Oh, good. Well, oui, oui. Uh, yeah, all right. Oui, okay. oui. All right. Shall we start? What's the difference in the French and the just the onion soup? Well, onion soup has just the onions and the, and the, uh, uh, the beef and the other, the French onion soup. It's got some cheese. croutons and cheese. Oh, I like that. The really best. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it ought good. to be real good. I need a recipe for that, and I, I'm just excited to see you put it together. All right. I want to give just an explanation as to this kale casserole. A lot of people don't know what kale is. Have you ever had kale before? Uh, no, I haven't. All but right. I know it's a green leafy vegetable. Right. right. This is kale right here, and uh, it's a little curlier than collards. That's right. It, it is <laughs> curlier than collards, and. You see, see it in the grocery stores in the vegetable bowl, you know, around for right. decoration. They do a lot of that. But you don't see a lot of uh, people eating it. But this is a German recipe mm -hmm. from a uh, neighbor of mine across the street. And this is a recipe that is handed down from generation to generation. Oh, wonderful. And uh, he, he gave me the recipe, and we tried it, and, and uh, we liked it. And so here we are. We're going to cook it up today. And you're such an inventive cook. You like to try different things, don't you? I do. Yeah. I, it's it's kind of fun. You know, I'll taste things. I'll say, no, I don't like that. Let me put a little bit of this uh -huh. in. Yeah, you're great. So Well, thank you. Well, how should we begin? All right. We're going to start off two different uh, things here right now. We're going to start with some onions, and we need actual, actually onions in both of the recipes. Yes. So we've got a pan here going, mm -hmm. and we're going to start our French onion soup in there. Now, I've already cut some of these onions up, and these onions are going to be sautéed in this pan for approximately 10, 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen recipes where they, where they like to do it for like a half hour, Ooh, and that's, that's just much, a little bit too much, yeah. I think. Yeah, but, that's, but anyway, that's what happens. So then we're going to take two tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. and that's going to give our, our consistency there. We're going to put this in the pan, and hopefully that's not too hot yet. All right. And then we're going to take the onions, and we're going to saute these onions. And what you do is, is you take approximately uh, one or two small onions, and that's, that's, that's enough right there. We're going to put this on. And Rita, you just kind of stir that. All righty. We're going to saute I'm that. Stir. I'm going to turn this down low. All righty. And we're going to just saute that for about uh, 10 minutes. Oh, I like this frying pan. That's a nice frying yeah, pan. Yeah, I Very like good that. You may, pan. you may forget this on your way out. Huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this will be good. Now, here we've already added our water in the pot, and you use four cups of water. Oh, yeah, we're really <laughs> cooking, folks. I'm talking. We're hot Gin. for the gospel's sake here on Together Again. <laughs> All right. Now, here are some beef bouillon cubes. And I like the beef bouillon cubes. Mm -hmm. You can get the beef consomme, you know, in the uh, Campbell soup, you know, the can. Oh, yes. And you can use that. Uh, but the flavor's a, a little salt, bit different. It? Yeah, it has a lot of salt. These, these have salt in them, too. Oh, okay. The flavor's a little bit different. But I like these myself. And I'll take about five or six and put in there. All right. And just kind of let those melt. And, and we'll turn that down on a low heat here so we're not uh, steaming people up. And while this is going on, we're going to now start our kale recipe. Oh, all right. All right. Now, would this be a complete meal if we like had our this soup is. as we're, our appetizer that's and then correct. this? That's right. We're okay. going to make a complete meal today. All right. Complete meal. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cup and a half of water. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it in the bottom of our like we need a little casserole background dish. music here. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there? <laughs> I'm doing the onions. I can't yeah, what, hear a thing. All I hear is know? a sizzle. That's right. Okay. Okay. Uh huh? <laughs> I'm going to cut up I'm going to cut up some onions. And usually you use about two onions, uh, one or two onions, and you, you cut them, you know, relatively thick. These are nice onions that you have. They are. They're called sweet onions. Oh, you are know? they? Yeah. My wife said, don't get the little onions, get the sweet onions okay. in the refrigerator. So I said, all right, I got them. Now, <laughs> are you an obedient some, husband? Yes. We've got some <laughs> kale here. All righty. And here's what kale looks like. You can buy it in a bunch like that. That's the kale. We've kind of chopped that up already. Oh. <laughs> what are you spilling there? I spilled water. I didn't know there was water in it. Well, I forgot. I just want you to That's know. That's part that of the recipe. 
You just use half my recipe right on the floor. You think you had chim cakes over here, wouldn't you? I'm telling you, here he comes. You know? He's on his way. He couldn't resist that one. <laughs> Do we need to get a Band-Aid for you or something? Did you injure yourself? No, I, I, the, the bowl is so beautifully clear, and I forgot his water was in there. And I you know what, sister? Can I just tell you something, friend? She says, I really wish there was some music. Like that. And there's music playing in the background. And it's the, it's the sound and the sight that goes. Okay, the first, the first. Okay. Your, your birthday's coming, isn't it? No. We are, she's got a birthday in just a few days. No. Okay. I don't have any birthdays. <laughs> you come over here and stir this, Gabe. <laughs> I need to get Bob a little more water. That's you okay. You cooking with me. <laughs> that, that's all right. We all right. Today in the kitchen. All right. Rita, we're fine there. That that you didn't spill that much, I think. I'm afraid. I'm just going to explain it. here on oh, the potato. Oh my word! It looks like we're busting a pipe down here. <laughs> Bob it did that. It looks like Chicago down here. What, what, what did you guys do? It's coming up from the basement. <laughs> what? I, uh, don't worry. I'll get a sponge. I'll get okay. a little more water. <laughs> Go get the mop, Jim. That's right. There's a little more water. <laughs> All right. If we don't keep going on this cooking process, yeah, we're not going to get this meal I'm done sorry. here. I'm sorry. You forgive so. us, please. But if, if, we uh, if we're walking by here, one of our legs slips up and falls got down, a sponge. you why. Okay. Right, I'll mop it let me get this while Jim is doing the mop in there. Now, this is our kale. This is our please kale forgive us for having casserole. Fun here. And we're going to take this kale and we're going to layer the bottom. Now you have to wash this real good yes, like you do all grease that's right, stuff. That's right, because kale has got a lot of sand in it mm -hmm. and you got to almost shake it. You have to shake it Okay. and, and get all that sand out, otherwise you're going to be eating grit. Yes. Okay, then now we're going to take some uh, onions and we're going to layer Keep those. Keep going, Bob. You're doing great. All right, I'll just ignore Caution, you. Caution, wet floor. <laughs> all right, <laughs> then we're going to take here? some uh, potatoes and we're going to layer those. Jim, just tell me if you want me to move out of the way. Okay. I just mopped this floor yesterday. <laughs> now, um, we don't pre-cook any of this. No. Okay. <clears throat> no, we're not pre-cooking. Excuse your finger there. All right. Now, we're going to also put another layer of kale in here. All right. And some more onions. Another layer of onions. Now, this is really easy. It looks you want like a, it's going to be good. <clears throat> excuse me. You want a complete meal? Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get your vegetables. Right. And... Uh, you're going to, we're going to do something different at the end if you want to have a complete meal. Okay. And we're going to have French onion soup as well. Oh, good. Okay. It's going to be wonderful. See how easy this is? Now, kale will cook down. The water will help absorb that, and it will cook down. All right, we've got our layer of potatoes, onions again, and mm -hmm. we're just going to put some more kale on the, on the top here. Then, we're going to take some, about two strips of bacon. Oh, good. And you cut them in half. Uh-huh. And you just kind of put them on there. Layer them on there a little bit. And that bit. gives you a little um, that, flavor. That helps, yes. Now, let me ask you this. Kale looks very dark and rich, light collards. And to take the strongness out of collards, I always blanch them first before I cook them. Mm -hmm. And then have new water and put them in that. Do you do anything like this with kale? Is it strong? Is it a strong tasting vegetable? Um, it, it is a strong tasting vegetable. Uh, and I would say by preference, if you prefer to do that, you can. But uh, we had some the other night, and, mm -hmm. and my neighbor, Bill Lang, he, uh -huh. he eats it all the time. Oh, good. And, and he doesn't blanch it, just, I know. Just a little note of inquiry. Right, OK. Then you take some pepper, and you're going to put some pepper on there. Good. OK. Like that, not too much. And we're going to put some salt later on. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to mention one thing, that after you get through with uh, cooking this, and if you want to add more and have a meat to it, mm -hmm. we're going to take some um, chicken. Okay. And we're going to put some chicken with it. But first of all, I'm going to use the same pan. Oh, good. Okay. okay. We're going to take, we're going back to our French onion soup now. And we're going to take this onions sauteed in butter, and mix it into this soup. This soup has got a wonderful flavor. I bet. Wonderful flavor. Like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to take some parsley. I'm um, not parsley. Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong thing. I didn't All want right. to rebuke you. <laughs> <laughs> right here in front of God and everybody. <laughs> okay. uh, a little right. cheese. Uh, that's right. Okay. Now we've, we've got that. And we're just going to kind of uh, mix it a little bit. Uh -huh. And we're going to bring that back up to a boil. And as soon as that boils, we're going to turn it down and just let it saute a little bit. Then at the end, we're, we're going to take that and put it in a bowl. Okay. Let's go back to this real quick. And we're going to um, now get our brown chicken. chicken. Yes. We're going to get our chicken. We're going to brown our chicken just a little bit. Okay. Here we are. 
And there's probably just enough left from the butter and the onions, uh, the moisture from that, to right. brown this good. And, and, and a lot of times, you know, if you if you like to put some onions in there, some garlic, garlic buds, you know, mm -hmm. you want to flavor it up. Some people like it more spicy, others don't. And then after and, this and is so, cooked, you yeah, would just drop just it in that. there? Then we put it, we're going to put it on here, mm -hmm. and we're going to cover it. And if you're in a, a bowl like this, just, just put a hole in it so you release some of the pressure. And then we're going to put it in the microwave. All right? And, for and then we're going to cook it. We're going to first of all cook it for about four... 12, 14 minutes on okay. one side. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to cook it another 10 or 12 minutes. We're going to turn it a little bit and stir it. Oh, okay. See. Okay. Then we're going to take it out. And here is something that you've probably never heard of. You're going to mix. Oh, I saw oatmeal on that recipe. And I, <laughs> that's what I wondered about. Right. We're, okay. We're going to mix some oatmeal with it. Oh, okay. And, and so on. But right now, let me get this. Uh, covered up. We're going to cover this. I wouldn't put the chicken in yet Alrighty. because the, the chicken's not going to take that long to cook. So we're just going to kind of put this and get this started because kale takes a while to cook down. Alrighty. May I take that for you? Oops. Yes. All okay. right. Excuse me. Put this right in here. Turn that on. And we'll set our, our oven for about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. We'll just keep turning these, uh, this chicken over a little bit. You know, what I like about this show here, uh, doing with you and, and Jim, Rita, What's that, Bob? is that after... I'm hoping you like something. <laughs> keep you coming I do. back. <laughs> I, I, I do. I enjoy it. Because, well, what I like is after we're all done, we uh -huh. have a big meal, right? Yes. And the whole crew comes in and starts hanging around here. They do. Well, that, that looks <laughs> good here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I, would you like some? Sure. And, and we get rid of the whole thing. Yes, we do. Yeah. It's a real treat. In fact, uh, we didn't have a cooking segment the other day, and the crew was saying, well, don't you cater the days you don't cook? I said, no, not yet. Wait till the budget goes up, you know. <laughs> but they do. They enjoy this aspect of the program tremendously. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. No other show feeds them like we do. No. That's our truth. That's right. They don't have to eat dinner when they go home, That's right? That's right. A lot of them don't. All, set. All right, we're going to, while she's cooking that a little bit, we're going to go now and we're going to put our French onion soup. It's already come to a boil. Mm -hmm. We've brought it back down to just a simmer. And then we're going to just get some bowls that you can put them in the so microwave. So this doesn't have to boil a lot. No sweep. It's on a medium sim simmering temperature. That's enough? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And so we'll just take some, some broth some onions, whatever is in this mixture here, put it in like that, and uh, pour the bowl maybe about three quarters full. Do the second bowl. We gotta have one for Jim, one for you. Mm-hmm. Or mainly just one for me is on that. One for you, he yeah. doesn't need any, right? <laughs> right? I know his mother will be riding in. You're so mean to my boy. All right, now, <laughs> now we've got <laughs> Croutons are a good thing to put in French onion soup. When you buy it at the restaurant, you know, you'll see a, either some bread. Yeah. Uh, but if you put just bread in it, it's going to get very soggy. It's going to absorb it. It's not going to taste good. So you almost need something crunchy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put some croutons in here. And, you know, just a handful in each one of these. And that also, what do you think that does? Um, I'm not sure. Hold the cheese There up. you go. All right. It holds the cheese up. <laughs> I'm a practical girl. That's it. <laughs> and and uh, you don't want to put too much in. If you do that, you're just going to have a big soggy mess. Now, this is the nice part. You take a cheese mm -hmm. and just put it across. And if you got a bigger piece, you cover the outside there. We're going to just put one in each like this. And you get these round ones that'll be, work well, better. Well, you can huh? get square. And if you get square, you know, it comes over like this. I love that cheese, though. Yes, that's good. All right, that's probably done. We can go from there back to this recipe, the kale casserole. Mm -hmm. I need a little more room here. Really? And we're going to take these and put them in here. And we're going to melt the cheese. Sorry. Takes about how long? <laughs> just a few minutes? Uh, yes, you just kind of keep an eye on it. We're going to melt the cheese and brown the cheese. And so while that's doing that, we're going to have nice fresh onion soup in a little bit. In the meantime, back to the kale recipe. Yes. And we're going to take this chicken, and this can saturate this and give a wonderful flavor. Oh, I bet. 
The drippings from the chicken? Yes. Let's just do it this way. All righty. Since we're on TV and we have to hurry anyway. That's right. Bob, you're just doing this thing so well. All right. There we go. We'd start Got calling that. him Mr. Child. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to take this, and you're only going to add about two tablespoons full, but you want to move this over and use the water. So, oh, Rita, just yeah. hold that right okay. there. All right. Let me hold Let that Let me just for put you. this right here. All right. We're going to put one there. Uh-huh. Just kind of uh, On the other move side? to the other side. Sure. And there. What now, this, the water this came is like from a, the kale itself, mostly, didn't it? Yeah. That drips from that. And it is well, drinking. I, yeah, and, but the oatmeal is more of a thickener. Oh, That's okay. what it's used for. It's okay. more of a thickener. So we're going to just kind of stir it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mix these flavors up. How are we doing on time? All right? Doing great. Okay. How are we doing on time, Linda? Like a yes. <laughs> when you need her the most. I just had to tell you, if you look around at it, I've been floor directing. Can I, I got to compliment the crew. Yes. They had a problem in the back with the recipe, and these guys are the best. Yeah. You never would have known we've been off the air during this whole segment. Okay? You never would have known. And Linda, precious Linda, uh -huh. was running in the back, and was they, they connected things and did stuff and typed things back into the machine, yes. and you'll have your recipe. Oh, wonderful. That. They are a wonderful crew. Yes, they and are. They deserve your support. Amen. Okay. That's right. I, all I know is she looked at me and started muttering something, and I didn't know what she was saying. <laughs> and, well, and then she left, she, didn't she? She took off down the road. So I thought, well, we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's here's our onion soup. Oh, that's great. Recipe. Put it right here. It's the, the French onion See, soup. And let me tell you about the provolone cheese. Okay. Provolone cheese is a cheese like mozzarella mm -hmm. as far as uh, you take a bite and it strings up to yeah, here, you know, yeah. or, or... It's fun to eat. Or it's fun to eat. Uh -huh. and it's got a great flavor. You can even mix your cheeses. Okay. That, that type of thing. All right, here's some French onion soup. Sounds delicious. Now, we're going to um, have music again in just a moment by Tracy Thurman. And uh, she's going to be singing, and we're going to be tasting, and then we'll come back and give you the recipe. How about that? So you have to stay with us. We return with Bob Dempster, and he's made French onion soup, and it is delicious. Mmm, we've already been tasting it. And Jim's going to try the kale, the German casserole. And I've already taken a sneak bite of that. It's delicious, isn't it? Have you tried the kale? It's wonderful. And let me say this. If you've enjoyed today's broadcast, remember the Tim the Monk Club. <laughs> That's right. I haven't had a chance to hardly tell you today a whole lot, but we need mm -hmm. your support. Thank you very much. All righty. We're going to begin by showing you our onion soup recipe first. Okay, you may take this down and hopefully put it on your VCR. For French onion soup, you use four cups of water with five beef bouillon cubes. You use two onions cut up with two tablespoons of butter or margarine. Cook that slightly. Use your croutons on first, and then your uh, Parmesan cheese, and then your uh, per provolone cheese. Is that how you say it? Provolone. Provolone cheese. Or, Spanish, or Italian. It's delicious. Provolone. And that's your topping. And then for your kale casserole, you use three quarts of microwave, uh, uh, three quart size microwave casserole with a vented cover. You use one and a quarter cups of water, half a pound of kale. And this is really delicious stuff, folks. I want you to know it's my first opportunity. You wash it and chop it. You use one potato peeled and uh, sliced thickly, one onion sliced and cut in half, and one thin slice of bacon cut into pieces. And then you use a pinch of ground black pepper, a te teaspoon of one minute oatmeal, half a teaspoon of salt, micro microwave on high, turning about three times slightly, and then 14 more minutes on a 70% power. Stir, add oatmeal and salt, and microwave four more minutes. Why don't we just say this? Mm -hmm. If you didn't get all that, which you were trying to write it down, you didn't. If you didn't VCR, you didn't get it. Send us a stamp. Self-addressed envelope. We'll get it to you as quick as we can. That's right. This is the staff of Together Again. I mean. One, two. <laughs> and this is an exciting recipe. I know you're wanted. So send your self-stamped address envelope, and we'll return you a copy. And hopefully you'll remember the Ten a Month Club when you send in for your recipe, and that'll be a blessing for us. And Bob, you did it once again. Well, thank you. It was awesome yeah. to be here. You Very just good tore this kitchen up. Let's eat some soup. <laughs> Amen. For Jim Gates and Bob Dempster, I'm Rita Christie, reminding you to have a Jesus-filled day. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>